it is good that we say some few words about this sacrament which we have celebrated together and which we are all about to receive. First of all, we must emphasize above all that this is a mystery of the church. This is a sacrament. This is as much a physical means of receiving and encountering the very presence of Christ in his energies as is Holy Communion itself, an encounter with our Lord himself in the flesh. And the oil has been blessed and consecrated by the hands of the presbyters, of the elders, of the priests since the beginning years of the church. Saint James, Saint Jacobo speaks of this in his epistle. He says, if any of you are sick, let him call the presbyters, call the priests, and they will bring the oil and will anoint the one who is ill, and the prayer in the anointing through this will be healed all the infirmities of both soul and body. Now we understand that healing of soul and body in some cases may mean the departing of the soul from the body for a time. And so we will anoint even those who lie on their deathbed with the unction oil, with the evkelion. But unlike the Catholic Church, which for several centuries reserved the unction oil only for death, we offer this at all times because it is not phanatoleon, it is evkelion. It's not the oil of death, it's good oil, blessed oil. And in this is present the healing hand of the Lord for all of our infirmities. And if we pass into death, we know it is death only as a door through which we enter into everlasting life. But in the meantime, for all of us, we pray for mercy, for healing, for salvation, for peace of our spiritual and emotional members, for healing of our physical body, for well-being in all that we are and all that we do. Therefore, the most essential thing for anyone who comes forward is that they come, oh, there are two things. First, a technical requirement. Because it is a sacrament of the church, only those who are Orthodox Christians are able to receive. Any who are not, we pray that we may all be united in one visible church in Christ soon, but in the present. For the meantime, we do not anoint. It is a sacrament of the church as we do not give communion to those who are not Orthodox. We cannot distribute the Evkelion to those who are not. We can bless with another oil in that case, if there is the request. The other thing, the spiritual reality is this. As the Lord said, I do not come to heal those who are well, but only those who are sick. For those who are well don't need a doctor, only those who are sick. It is not for us then to come forward and receive of Helion, believing ourselves to be healthy, for we know that we are not, if we reflect carefully. Therefore, let us come in a spirit of humility, in a spirit of repentance. And for that, to all of you there, that means that we think of the things that we have done that have made our friends cry, or our parents cry, or our grandparents cry, the things that we do that make others sad, and we feel sorry for them, and we ask Jesus, to forgive us, right? But we come thinking carefully of how we have lived and how we want to live. And in this we find repentance, because repentance just means metania, which is a Greek word that means we change our mind. So if I'm facing away from the altar, as I come to receive of Helion, I want to turn around and face towards Christ. Right? Good. Technical announcement. You may know that it has been customary for many decades in the United States 
and only in the United States, that when we come for Evkelion, we give out the Q-tip with the oil on it, and the people take it to their homes. For two reasons, we will not do that today. First, because it is a sacrament and is therefore supposed to only be administered by a priest, and we can give a Q-tip to those who are the lay people only in extreme need. So, if you know someone who is currently sick and cannot come, do as the scripture says. Speak to the elder of the church, the presbyter, that's me, and ask. And if I can, I will come myself and anoint them and leave some of Kelion with them. And if I can't, then I will give some to you. This is the way that it is done in every Orthodox country. And for a period of time when there were not enough priests, we made an exception here, but it is becoming firmer and firmer a policy from the archdiocese down that it is not to be done. Not that it is a sin for you to take it, but for it to be the general rule can no longer be. Second change, and forgive me, we will not be distributing cotton balls. If Helion is a blessing, it makes no sense in my mind, although those, there are those who argue, it makes no sense to put it on and then immediately take it off. It is oil. Rub it into your face and your hands. Don't wash your hands for a couple of hours so that it has time to wash in, to soak into your hands. But receive the blessing. Kala. I know it's different, bear with me. In this way also it keeps things much more simple and efficient as we come forward. Oh, I was going to give the other reason. I have the younger altar boys today and I didn't have time to instruct them on in how to work with the cotton, uh, with the Q-tips and the cotton balls and so forth. So this is the practical reason that I can't give out the bags. So again, if you need a bag for someone who is sick that I don't have time to go visit, talk to me, and we will still give you the Evkelion, but only in that particular extreme. If there is a reason that you need it at home, then you can still take it. Not afterwards, now, tomorrow, or the next day, in the course of the rest of the day, after I have time to prepare the bag. Kala? Signomi yatin aliksin. I know that it's a change, but please bear with me and understand that in this we participate more fully in the life and the way of worship of all the church, not only the American church for the last hundred years, but all the church for the last 2,000 years. Again, if anyone needs to take it home, talk to me and we will arrange it. But otherwise, it will not be distributed generally. I will anoint you on the forehead, the chin, the cheeks, and both sides of the hand, and then you will continue and you may go to your homes. Of course, those of you who have children make certain to rub it in for them. So, God bless you all, and we will begin shortly. <laughs> 